Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 19th of December 1918, Ripley's Believe It or Not debuted as a one off newspaper panel in the New York Globe. Robert Ripley grew up in California, where he showed a talent for both sport and drawing. He combined these two passions and began working as a sports cartoonist for San Francisco newspapers when he was 16 years old and moved to New York City seven years later, where he briefly trained with the New York Giants baseball team before breaking his arm in a career-ending injury. Ripley soon returned to his artistic pursuits and secured a role at the New York Globe and Commercial Advertiser, which had recently joined the Associated Newspapers Syndicate with other papers across the United States. This brought Ripley to the attention of a much wider audience, and it was while working on a cartoon to fill his allotted space on a particularly slow news day in December 1918, that he put together a cartoon featuring a series of small sketches of unusual sports feats. Published in the New York Globe on the 19th of December, Ripley gave the panel the title Champs and Chumps. The feature wasn't given the name Believe It or Not until its next appearance, and due to the syndication arrangement it actually first appeared in the Washington DC Star four days earlier on the 15th of December. Nevertheless, the appearance in the New York Globe on the 19th of December is regarded as the panel's official debut. Believe it or not, and its presentation of bizarre and strange events proved to be an enormous hit and found an ever-expanding audience after it was picked up by William Randolph Hearst's King Features Syndicate. It's since been adapted into numerous formats and is still printed in more than 40 countries.